Good morning, everyone. This is your teacher Sam, and welcome to our virtual class. Watch closely and listen carefully to our lesson for today. Are you ready? Let's go. Unit two, lesson one, addition. Today we are going to study how to add two numbers with a sum of one hundred or less. Regrouping. Switching the order of two numbers in addition and adding three numbers with a sum 100 or less. Before we start our lesson, let's learn the basics of addition. What is addition? Addition is the process of adding two or more numbers together. This is the sign use or addition. This is called plots. Plots. For example, we have here 14 plus 11 equals 25. 14 and 11 are called addend. 14 is the first addend and 11 is the second addend. When you're going to add both of this addend, you will get the sum, which is 25. So 25 is called the sum. Sum. First lesson is adding two numbers with a sum 100 or less. Word problem. Pete has 24 pencils. Paul has 13 pencils. How many pencils do they have together? Number sentence 24 plus 13 equals blank. Now let's find the answer. We can answer this by doing the figures. There are two tens and four ones. And one tens and three ones. When you add this all together, you will get three tens and seven ones, which means all together is 37 pencils. We can also calculate this using the column addition. For example, first addend which is 24, and then the second addend is 13. First step, or step 1, you are going to column this by tens and ones. 4 ones plus 3 ones equals 7 ones. Step 2, we are going to add the tens place. 2 tens plus 1 tens equals 3 tens. Therefore, 24 plus 13 is equal to 37. Let's take another example. Find the sum of 25 and 32. Number sentence 25 plus 32 equals blank. Let's try to answer this using the figure. So we have two tenths and five ones for the first addon, and three tenths and two ones for the second addon. When you add this all together, we get five tenths and Seven ones, which make it 57. Let's try it with column addition. First addon is 25. Second addon is 32. 25 plus 32. So step one first, do the ones place. Five ones plus two ones equals 
step two. Calculate the tens place. Two tens plus three tens equals five tens. Therefore, 25 plus 32 is equal to 57. Lesson number two. Adding two numbers with a sum 100 or less with regrouping. Regrouping. Word problem. George has got 27 pence and Andy has 8 pence. How many pence do they have all together? Number sentence 27 plus 8 equals blank. Let's try to answer this using the figures. First, let's place the tens and ones with the first atom, which is 27. So we have two tens and seven ones. Step one, represent the numbers 27 and eight. Step number two, we are going to regroup 10 ones as one tens. Step 3. Represent the sum. So we have here 3 tens and 5 ones. The answer is 35. It's very easy to use the figure, right? Now let's try to answer this using the column addition. 27 plus 8. So the same process, we are going to answer the ones place first. Step 1. 7 ones plus 8 ones equals 15 ones. 15 ones is regrouped as 1 tens and 5 ones. Write 5 in the ones place and carry over 1 tens to the tens place. Step 2. We are going to add the tens place. So 2 tens plus the 1 tens that was carry over equals 3 tens. Write 3 in the tens place. Therefore, 27 plus 8 equals 35. Let's practice more addition with regrouping. We have here 26 and 18. First, we show 26 and 18. In figures, 26 has two tens and six ones. 18 has one tens and eight ones. We add ones first, and we will get 14. Six plus eight equals 14. We regroup 14 as 10 ones for one ten. And we are left with four, four ones. Fourteen ones is equal to one ten and four ones. We write four in the ones place and add one on the tens place. We add the tens, one plus two plus one is equal to four. Another example. Let's practice more addition with regrouping. We have here 26 and 18.
number three, switching the order of two numbers in addition. This is very simple. For example, we have here two stars plus three stars is equal to five stars. In number sentence, two plus three is equal to five. We are going to switch numbers of the addend. So we get 3 stars plus 2 stars is equal to 5 stars. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Therefore, 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 equal to 5. Meaning, when you switch numbers for the addend, you will still get the same sum or the same answer. One more example. We have here one tenths and one ones. We got eleven plus two tenths and two ones is equal to three tenths and three ones. In number sentence, it is eleven plus 22 is equal to 33. Let's switch it. 22 plus 11 is equal to 33. The same answer. Therefore, 11 plus 22 is the same or equal to 22 plus 11 equals 33. To our last lesson, lesson number four, adding three numbers with the sum 100 or less. Word problem. The first pile of books totals 25. The second pile has 14. The third has 20. Miss Lucy, the teacher, asks Wendy, Anne, and Jack to find the total number of books. Let's try to look at their works. First, we have here Wendy. Wendy's work. Step 1. 25 books plus 14 books is equal to 39 books. Step 2. 39 plus 20 books is equal to 59 books. She got 59 books. Now let's try to see Anne's work. Step 1. Anne did 25 first and 20 is equal to 45. Then she add 45 and 14 which is 59. So she also got 59 books. Now let's see Jack's work. Step 1. 14 plus 20 is equal to 34. Step 2. 34 plus 25 books is equal to 59 books. So three of them, they all got the same answer. Let's find out how did the students find the sum of the three pile books. Let's begin with Wendy. Wendy add the first pile and the second pile, then add the third pile to the sum. In number sentence, it is parenthesis 25 plus 14 plus 20 equals 59. And did this by adding the first pile and the third pile, then add the second pile to the sum. In number sentence, it is parenthesis 25 plus 20 plus 14 is equal to 59. While Jack added the second pile and the third pile, then add the first pile to the sum. Number sentence, Parenthesis 14 plus 20 plus 25 is equal to 
59. The sign open and close round brackets is called parenthesis. Parenthesis. They are used to show that the operation inside has to be calculated first. For example, open and close parenthesis of 25 plus 14 plus 20 is equal to blank. Step 1 is to add or calculate the numbers that is inside the parenthesis first. So we have here 25 plus 14. The answer is 39. And then we are going to add the next addend, which is 20. 39 plus 20 is equal to 59. That's how you calculate or add the numbers using parentheses. We can also add three numbers using the column figure. So we are going to place the tens and ones place. 25, 14, and 20. Step 1. We are going to add the ones place first. 5, 4, and 0. The answer is 9. So the sum is 9. Write 9 in the ones place. Step number two, add the digits in the tens place. Two, one, and two is equal to five. Write five in the tens place. The answer is 59. Now that we have learned all the things about addition, how to add two numbers, regrouping, Switching the order of two numbers and adding three numbers with a sum of 100 or less, we are ready now to enter our activity book. Please open your book on page number 47, 50, 51, and 53. Page 47, number 1 and number 2. Find each sum. Page 50, 1 and 2. Find each sum. Page 51. Write the number in each box. This is about switching the two add-ins. For example, number 1. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Let's change the add-ins. Let's switch it. We are going to get 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. Now please do the others. Page 53, number 1 and number 2. Find each sum of the three numbers. And that's all for today's lesson. I hope you had a great time learning with me today. And see you again to our next class. Goodbye!